Hello, 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 good people. This is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker. Coming back at you live once again from the Lone Star State with another edition of the Media Mike Speaks. So, I hope everyone enjoyed their 4th of July. So, we are now winding this down. So, it is over and the Media Mike is back. So, I had to take a break. So, to enjoy the break, 4th of July, that is. So, anyway... Most of my, well, not most, but a lot of my subscribers w- w- was asking me, when was I going to do the take on the Shikari Richardson piece? So um, I had my doubts about it at first. And so I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm enjoying the break. So I know a lot of people are doing this piece um, on her. So I gave in because a few of my subscribers are former athletes, track and field, that is, uh, and they are young ladies. So <laughs> anyway, I decided to go ahead and, and and do this, even though I am a former athlete, also track and field, high school and college. So um, anyway, this young lady, uh, Shakara Richardson, she, as you all may or may not have heard, I'm pretty sure you have heard, she was suspended from the uh, U.S. Olympic team after testing positive of, you guessed it, you know, marijuana. So here are my thoughts here. Um, I'm going to read the article a little bit. So, and then I give my thoughts on this. So, this coming from CNN, U.S. track and field star Shakari Richardson has been suspended for one month from the Olympic team after testing positive for THC, a chemical found in marijuana, the U.S. anti-doping agency announced on Friday. Now, they go on to quote, the rules are clear, but this is heartbreaking on many levels. Hopefully, her acceptance of responsibility and apology will be an important important example to us all that we can successfully overcome our regrettable decisions despite the costly consequences of this one to her, unquote. So, this was said in the press release. Now, Richardson, she did appear on NBC's Today show on Friday morning and said, she quoted, I just want to take responsibility for my actions. I know what I did. I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm allowed not to do and I still made that decision. So she's admit that she chose that route. I'm not making any excuse or looking for any empathy in my case, unquote. Okay, okay, now, uh, long are the days of her from the uh, uh, great Carter High School, you know, in Dallas. So, you know, this is before, you know, she has the, you know, before she got the Cobra tattoos and, and the carrot top, you know, she has, so anyway. But anyway, just my, <laughs> my take on it. So, Richardson, had booked her spot at the Tokyo Olympics with a runaway victory in the women's 100 meters at the U.S. Olympic track and field trials in Eugene, Oregon last month. Due to the the positive test, her Olympic trials results were automatically disqualified and she will not be allowed to participate in her signature 100 meter race at the Tokyo Games later this month. Now, bear in mind, now, this is is not a criminal offense, so... You know, Oregon, keep talking about marijuana is legal there. It's nothing to do with that. This is the rules of the Olympics. And and people need to understand that. It's nothing to do with the state of Oregon and their laws. This is the Olympic rules. Two different entities here. So, it's unclear whether Richardson will miss the games altogether. She may still be eligible to compete in another event besides the 100 meters, such as the 4x100 relay. CNN has reached out to Team USA for clarity. Danny, we don't know. But I hope she gets a, uh, uh, is able to do that. Now, Friday's USADA statement reads, quote, Richardson's competitive results obtained on June 19, 2021, including her Olympic qualifying results at the team trials, have been disqualified and she forfeits any medals, points, and prizes. Beyond the one-month sanction, athlete eligibility for the Tokyo Games is determined by the U.S. OPC and or USA track and field eligibility rules, unquote. Now, the World Anti-Doping Agency and the USADA label cannabis as a banned substance as it poses a health risk to athletes, has the potential to enhance performance and violate the spirit of sports, unquote. So, hey, they make the rules. Now, Miss Richardson goes on to say, she quotes, everything I do comes from me naturally. No steroids, no anything. This incident was about marijuana. After my sanctions are up, I'll be back and able to compete. And every single time I step on the track, I'll be ready to compete for whatever anti-doping agency to come and get what it is, what they need. Richardson concluded. And, and I believe her. 
and, and I do. And I think, you know, she's going to do some soul searching, which I hope she do. And I get my thoughts on some things. And I think she's going to come back. Uh, if everything works out right, she will be back with a vengeance. I do believe so. So it goes on to quote Shakari Richardson's situation is incredibly unfortunate and devastating for everyone involved. USA Track and Field said in a statement, athlete health and well-being continue to be one of USATF's most critical priorities and we will work with Shakari to ensure she has ample resources to overcome any mental health challenges now and in the future, unquote, which I do understand. I mean, yes, I, but I think she's going to be back. But my thoughts, a lot of African-Americans really need to put down the cannabis, put down the weed. We have to put that down. That, we have to stop. Now, this young lady, is she tal talented? Oh, of course. Yes, she is. Does she serve as a role model for young female athletes? Yes, without the exception of the, with the weed. So, now I believe, my personal thought, she did ignore her leadership. She ignored, she ignored the leadership of her male coaches. She did. You see, you can tell she's up to a game from her days from Carter High. And Ellie, she, you know, look at her physique. Most likely training in the gym with, you know, with men. You know, she, she's, she's grown. Now, once again, I do believe the leadership, she just, she flat out ignored it. Some of my subscribers, you know, debated me about this and I'm inclined to believe they were right. Now, I was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, but I digress. But it clearly shows she lacks a certain degree of discipline. She's just 21. And she paid the price for it. Now, I argued that some young athletes needed mentorship. But I guess sometimes mentorship is not enough. So, well, good people, what can I say? Another blown opportunity passed by this young lady's way. Now, I hope Miss Richardson takes it as a lesson learned of what not to do anymore so she can keep her dreams alive to take the gold in 2025. All right, good people, sad to say, but that's it for today. And remember, if you have or have a bad day, like Miss Richardson's, who gave her chances away, try to have more discipline and self-control. And let's hope that this young lady will run and win another day. This is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker. Subscribe, share, and like to keep me rocking on the mic. Have a good night.